Oh yeah, let me set up. Yo, 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 what's good? I welcome back to our sneakers. Today, I am gonna talk about the Yeezy V2 release of the new Beluga 2.0 colorway. I'm sure you guys have heard of it for like the past few months now. This year has been talked about since like before the summer. They said they were gonna release it at the end of the year and the time has finally come. It feels like the year's been going by really fast. Right now it's October 31st, so it is Halloween. And that means that this shoe does release in exactly 25 days. So that means the shoe releases on November 25th for the price point of, I'm guessing, $220 like every other V2. I'm pretty sure they won't change the price, not yet at least. I'm pretty sure they'll change it for like the Wave Run or something when they release more colorways. But as of now, all the information I'm gonna give you is also on the website, news.yeezymafia.com, which is basically where I'm getting this information from. But instead, I'm letting you guys know in a video instead of you guys having to read it, because I know some people don't like reading. I personally hate reading. Anyways, the style code is 8H2203. Release date is November 25th. The stock level is okay, so I wanna go ahead and say that the stock level is gonna be around less than the zebras, less than the cream whites, maybe a little bit more than the first breads that came out. The Beluga 2.0s are gonna be less limited than those, so I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna be like around the Oreos maybe, or maybe the breads. So expect the stock level to be around there. So if you did get one of those two shoes, you might be lucky and get this shoe as well, you never know. Getting these shoes is just all about luck, to be honest, unless you have a plug, unless you have like back doors and all that. But for the average person, it's pretty much just luck. Foot sites are getting them, so it makes it easier for the people to have foot stores around them, such as Foot Locker, Champs, and Foot Action. And unfortunately, mine around Tallahassee don't carry any Yeezys at all, because I live in Tallahassee, like nobody really lives here. Nobody really even wears Yeezys around here from what I've seen. The only ones I really seen are fake. I've seen like one or two real pairs. Very rare that I see a real pair roaming around here. Consortium stores are getting them, of course. Foot size are getting them. Consortium stores are getting them because those are like more of the high-end stores. Confirmed that reservations begin on November 22nd for Europe and it starts at 16 CEST. Like you guys heard me say last video, I do not remember exactly what time that is in EST. I mean, I'm in EST, but part of the US side. I don't know if it changes. I don't really know much about time zones, but I know that confirmed app locations are in Paris, London, Milano, Berlin, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Antwerp, and Copenhagen over there in Europe. If you are in the US, the confirmed app locations are to be announced, but if your Adidas location had Yeezys in the past, then they're most likely gonna have them for this release. Like I said, this release is okay on stock levels, whatever that means. So I'm pretty sure Miami's gonna get them, New York, Chicago. I think there's another Adidas in California. There's a bunch now. They actually spend a lot more than it was before. Like at first it was only three locations, and now it's like, I think five or 10. I don't know exactly sure. If you end up striking out on the release for the confirmed app locations, you can go ahead and get them online on Yeezy's Apply com or the Adidas website which obviously everybody has to go through the splash page there some people have their ways of getting through if you guys want to go ahead and use bots I'm pretty sure you can and also you can get them online from the foot site stores I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell them as well so you guys can go ahead and use bots for that as well if that's your thing I don't use bots anymore I used to that's when I used to resell now I don't resell anymore so I don't really use bots I'm hoping to get at least one pair I just want my personal pair I don't really care about reselling I mean it would be nice to get more than one pair because I could resell and make a little bit extra cash but you know obviously I am a sneaker collector especially on Yeezys they're huge I do have the beluga 1.0 and I do want obviously the 2.0s. I am not a huge fan of the colorway. Unfortunately, it is not the nicest colorway. I think it is the ugliest colorway by far, but I have not seen this shoe in person, so I can't really judge. I remember seeing this shoe when it came out and I thought it was ugly and now it is one of my favorite Yeezys just because it stands out so much more. It's basically this shoe right here, except with this orange flip with the letters, like the colors are just inverted. And also forgot that it does have a heel tab. It is gonna be gray with the orange stitching or red. I can't really tell by what I see in the picture, but I know that it will have a heel tab. So it's gonna be like a more modern V2, like these V2s the heel tab i think they only came out in 2016 all the ones in 2017 came out with a heel tab if i'm not mistaken if you guys want to know the tips and tricks that i use to get the shoes on the foot sites apps let me know and i will make a video again because i made so many in the past you can go ahead and go back to my previous releases or if you don't understand those then i'll go ahead and try to make another one and try to make it more detailed for you guys to understand because i know some of you guys aren't getting it some of you are and some of you guys do succeed some of you guys have failed but if you guys really want me to do it all over again i don't mind doing it i will do it to help you guys so you guys know how to get this v2 because this should not be that hard of a shoe to get. Like I was able to get three pairs of the zebras, one for myself, two to keep, and I still have two sitting on my shelves. If you guys want to go ahead and buy them, go ahead and hit me up, DM me on Instagram, Twitter, anywhere, email, it doesn't matter. I only get size eight because I do it for myself to make sure that I get a pair. Because if I don't, then I'm gonna be bummed out, even though you really shouldn't be the just shoes. In the end of the day, if you guys don't get these shoes, they're just shoes. Remember, guys, there's always another release. There's gonna be so many more easy releases in the future. So don't think the easy are going anywhere. Don't <coughs> don't be bummed out if you don't get them. Because at the end of the day, they're just shoes. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry if I sound a little tired. I am 
really exhausted and I'm recording this video so late. I have like an hour and a half to post this. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I promise you guys, Thursday's video will be more upbeat. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Got no sleep last night. Ooh, wow. Y'all showing love. Y'all have been subscribing. We're about to have 19K soon. Anyways, today's fan of the day for Halloween does go to Dylan D. Big shout out to you. You did enter the giveaway for the end of, well, it is the end of the month, but I still have not like announced the winner from last month and I still owe you guys that. I'm so behind. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I promise you guys, it will come soon. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaker, signing out.